I'm trying to make it take for everybody. It's gonna shake the Tommy, it's just time for lunch. She goes, I'm going home now. He goes, oh, no, no, after lunch, there's more studying to do, and we have some more books to read, and you're going to go home around 3 o'clock, and then you can go play. Looked at his teacher, very shocked, and he said, who signed me up for this? <laughs> well, Tommy wasn't sure what, what to expect on the first day of the first day of school in first grade, but his parents, of course, signed him up for it, and he went to school. 
Now, I'm sure none of you really knew what you were going to get into when you started Greek school, or how many of you did? How many of you knew exactly what was going to happen here on the first day of Greek school? No one did. You did? Very good. <laughs> but your parents signed you up, and many of the parents also stayed, and they learned. And the reason why, can anyone give me these three reasons why we come to Greek school? One reason. Because we're Greek. Because you, well, because you're Greek, yeah? And if you're not Greek, you can still come, but yeah? What? You, go, you want to learn Greek? You want to learn the language, okay? That's, no, yes. And you're just going because you just want to sign up so you can learn a different language. Okay, so you can learn a different language. Okay, what's some of the other parts of learning a different language, though? What's some of the other things that you may have learned this year? I hope. Go ahead. Okay, how to speak more of it. How about, I know one class taught some mythology, right? Now, why would we study mythology? Because it's part of the history of the Greek people. Okay, what else? What's, some, what's another reason why you attend Greek school? To learn the language, to learn some of the history of it, and? <laughs> Comment up here was you say it, I'm not saying it. <laughs> to learn the culture of the people, okay? The culture is the food, the, the, the um, why we do things the way we do them, why are eggs red, uh, painted red for Easter, why um, we sing the kalenda, and all of those things. So that's why we go to Greek school, is to learn the language, to learn the history, and to learn the culture, okay? And I hope that you learn a little bit of that during the year. And walking through the classes, I know that a lot of you picked up a lot of new words, and uh, learned uh, you learned some history, and you learned a little bit of the culture, too. So it was a very successful year for our first year here as a Greek school at St. Luke's. And I think a lot of, 99.9% .9 of our uh, appreciation must go to Georgia, who started it, organized it, and kept everybody motivated throughout the year. Um, Without further ado, Georgia. I have a speech. <laughs> and this time in English, because last time, and the 25th of March, the Independence Day, I said in Greek, and a lot of people didn't understand what I was saying, so I thought this time I will do it in Greek. I mean in English. <laughs> okay, first of all, I want to welcome Father Dean. I want to welcome the teachers, the students, all the parents, the grandparents, and the friends. I would like to take the opportunity to thank all of, all of you for the cooperation in getting the Greek school starting and running. 35 years ago, when I finished high school in Greece, I wanted to become a PE teacher, but due to my height, they didn't accept me. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, I went for an accounting and bookkeeping degree. All thought, I'm not in a certified teacher. I love to teach and work with children. Ever since I came to Central Missouri, my dream has always been to be able to have a Greek school here so the children can learn how to read, write, speak the Greek language, along with learning about the Greek culture. I have finally been given that opportunity to give to you and your children what I wanted for my two daughters. When Father Joseph asked me to be the director of the Greek school here, I felt so honored that I accepted the position without a second thought. I didn't know how much time and hard work it would take. I made lots of phone calls to Chicago Greek Education Department to establish the Greek school. Many times I have stayed up too late into the night planning things to, for the school. With the help of four volunteer teachers, we started classes in October 2002. We started with 45 students and we finished the year with 35. This has been a very exciting first year. Without the help from all of you, this will not have been possible. All thought we have accomplished lots of things this year. We hope next year, with more students enrolled and better communication, we will have an even better year. We hope that with God's grace, those students will continue to progress in their Greek studies and all their life's accomplishments. It is amazing what you can do, what can you accomplish if you love the work you do. I was and still am excited about the Greek school and ready to give 100% of myself. Every Thursday, no matter how tired I was, 
I made the Hellfire Drive from Fulton to, to be with you. You, you will always will be my inspiration. I love what I'm doing and I love you all more every day. I know it's difficult to try to keep the Greek culture and language life in this big country we live in. Most of you come from mixed marriages or three or four generations, Greek generations. We have to try very hard to keep the Greek language and the Greek culture alive. I also know that with all the other activities that you are involved in, it is very hard for parents to find the time in their busy schedule to bring their children to the Greek school. Please do not put the Greek school at the bottom of your list. Learning another language is not an easy thing to do. It takes lots of study, practice, and students need to be to attend the classes. To accomplish anything, we have to sacrifice and work hard. The Greek language is a rare and difficult language. It's a special talent to know Greek, and the Greek culture is very unique. I ask some of the t students um, why they're learning Greek, and each one gave me a different reason, like Father Dean did, ask them, and some of those uh, the reasons were because their parents forced them, because their roots are Greek, because they marry into Greek-speaking families, and because they like to talk about other non-Greek speakers with their friends in the mall. My, my idea of learning Greek is not only because your parents force you, or all the other reasons you gave me, but because many words have their roots from the Greek language, as Mr. Portocalo from the movie My Big Fat Wedding keeps pointing out, and he's right. The people in the medical law, in the medical law or teaching profession also benefit from the Greek language. The New Testament was written in Greek. The language was developed years ago, and it shall continue to grow for many years. I fear that the language will be lost. It is important for, for each of us to do our part to keep it alive. Today is the last day of the academic Greek school year. I would like for each of you students to come back next year with even more excitement. Parents, help your children practice in the Greek words that you learned this year. I want to thank, to thank you parents for sending your children to Greek school. Thanks to all of you for the, support, the, the, the people that support the Greek school. Thank you teachers for volunteering your time teaching the Greek language. And I would like to thank Father Dean for his good advices. And also, but not least, I want to say thank you to all the students for the hard work and great effort to put to come to the school every Thursday. May the Greek school program continue to, cr to grow and improve. Congratulations, have a nice summer, and see you back in the fall. And I would like to thank some of the business that they donate the pizzas, and they're on the back of the, on the, back of the flyer of the program or whatever. So, uh, and I wanna just say it too, Angelo's Pizza, Eris Pizza, GND, and Tony's, and we'll thank them. Okay. This year has been a first in many ways. Um, one of the most amazing things is how quickly we have grown. Um, I think in September we had 110 people on our mailing list. We now have 170 on our mailing list. Uh, beginning in September, we're going to have new classrooms, where um, most of all the classrooms are going to be in the house next door to us that we have just purchased. So uh, you'll be excited to know that. You're not going to have to move around and things like that. We'll have a whole, that's going to be basically the school. Sunday school, Greek school, and fellowship hours there. And of course, we are um, every Sunday, and especially the last few Sundays, if you've been here, you've noticed there's been no room. <laughs> there's no room in the inn whatsoever, especially last Sunday where it was just very crowded. And that's a great thing. We are progressing, we are growing, and it's because of every one of you who fill in voids and fill in where we need help. Um, in the Greek school, we have four people, besides Georgia, Georgia's the director, but we have four people who came forward to volunteer their time, their energy, and especially their time, because all four are very, very busy in their own rights. And not only did they say, okay, we'll teach Greek, but we don't want to be paid for it. And that is very unusual. 
In fact, I was talking to a friend of mine who's a, a priest in one of our larger parishes in the Archdiocese, and they only have 33 kids in Greek school this year. I said, well, we beat you. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you know, how much do you charge? And we said, it's very nominal, but the teachers volunteer. He goes, wow, that's incredible. And it is incredible that Lucas, Nick, Lena, and John put a lot of energy, came here all the time. teach our uh, fine young people in don't say young people. Yeah. Yeah. If, um, Nick, uh, Lucas, uh, Lena, and John, if you can come up here. Yeah, not with your... No, not with your boxes. You're going to your boxes right now. No. <laughs> and I know there's four people who have something... Something to yeah. tell you or give you. Who wants to go first? Lucas, I think we're going to run off a very good Lucas, yeah, Nick next, Lena third, and John last one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to run off a very good one. Lucas, I will protect you guys right now. And I want to thank you too. <laughs> thank you too? Why? I, I should thank you. No. <laughs> I want to say something really quick. Um, when I was growing up, the Greek school teacher was very strict and always angry, so I never went because my parents gave me the option. My children never wanted to miss. They missed one time because I kept them home because they were sick. And I thank Nick for that. I think you made it an enjoyable experience for them. So thank you. <laughs> and I thank you. <laughs> for making my kids and the other kids experience very enjoyable. They love the mythology, which next year we're going to do a little bit more of that. And they love the reading and the writing. You did a wonderful job, and we appreciate it. Thank you. And they learned a lot. Congratulations, and thank you. There you go. Thank you. Keep up the good work. And the third one is Tuzopoulos Leo. Thank you. There you go. Okay. okay, and then we have some other students that they were almost perfect attendance. They missed only one day, and they are Debbie Aslanidis.
we're going to give the certificates to all the students that they attend the Greek school this year. And I'm going to call the teachers to come over here, and they don't mind that they're going to give the certificates to you all. Okay? And Nick, please. Uh, that's, that's fine. Before, before I start uh, giving uh, the, the certificates, I want to say uh, to all the students in the class that uh, it was uh, fun for me to have you in the class and uh, uh, see you grow and, and see you learn uh, every, every time. So um, thanks uh, for being there. Georgia, let's uh, start with Godas Alexandra. All are the goddesses are not here today, oh, they, they have goddess. games. Oh man, there are yeah. a lot of them, too. You <laughs> have <laughs> 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 classes, but I need to go to the next oh, one. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're going to miss they somebody. They have a game. They have a, they have a lot of games. And, they if, are if, very they, and if one of them had a game, all of them missed it. <laughs> yes, they, they okay. are. Uh, they, but all the goddesses, all five of them, were a lot of fun to have in a class. Uh, for, for the rest of you that you didn't know that. All right? <laughs> Now, next one, Peyton Kolikowski. Peyton. Congratulations. What is it? Uh, Risanti Panagos. Now, wait a minute. What are you going to say? Efganistan. Uh, Ileana Panagos. I know, I know. We've got, to, we've got to get them through the boot camp on that. Uh, the boot camp. Um, Chambos Benjamin. Congratulations. Cali. Uh, Where is she? Caliopi. Great job, sweetie. It was so uh, much fun to get you in the class. Anthony Veras. The two Veras, they're not here. No, not you, but Asimene can come and get them. Okay. All right, Anthony and Daniel. Both of these guys participated so much in the class. Thank you. Thank you. Is that, is that, this is right? Yeah, that's And the rest is, okay, very good. I'm not going to go in order of the program because I thought I would call like ages group. So I would like Lena to come. Please. I'm getting there. Okay. Give me your box and I'll go. Okay. Um, what can I say that has not been said? Um, this was my first year teaching Greek. I teach French. I am you for about six years, but teaching Greek to young students, it was a different story. <laughs> but I think not only did they learn, I learned how to, how to be with them, how to teach them. Um, I learned what they were interested in, and I think mythology was their strongest, <laughs> was their strongest um, subject and history. And they were surprised to see that, hey, you know, it's good being Greek. It's, you know, if people tease me, I know what to tell them now. I grew up in Philadelphia, and I had a hard time because Greeks were not popular then, and we had all these names being called, and I told them, hey, if anybody calls you any sort of name for being Greek, you say, I'm proud to be Greek, because what, what do we have today? Our alphabet, our letters, our words, all of them, like Georgia said, most of them come from the Greek language. So be proud of who you are, and be proud that you were wearing the outfits for the 25th of March, some of them were like, oh, you know, I look silly. I said, no, you need to be proud because people who wear them in Greece are the best of the best. So it was a great year, and I'm sure the following one was going to be even more organized. So having said that, I want to give my students what they've earned this year. And you, you want to call them? Sure. Maria Kalajanakis. Maria. Bravo, 
chance to teach and I think this was my probably the, the, the easiest of my teaching experience. The first one was uh, in Komotini, Greece. I was forced to teach Turkish students. So I didn't know a Turkish word and they didn't know a Greek word. My second assignment was to teach English students and <laughs> they didn't know any Greek and I didn't know too many English. <laughs> uh, and my third one was to teach uh, my native. I was uh, very proud to have a bunch of good students uh, whom I enjoy very much, and I hope they put a good foundation down for a continuation of, of, of a beautiful learning. So I'm proud of them. Okay. Do you want to call the name? No, it's okay. I think. Okay. Uh, Vespina Aslanidis. Cassandra Aslanidis. Lucas Duncan. Andreas Mosin.
new baby in the family or this and that and that's why. It wasn't Lucas. <laughs> it was because the first day of class I heard everybody who doesn't come to the end, they'll, they'll get a nap so they go scared and they don't come. <laughs> anyway, what, what I want to say is uh, a couple things. Um, you know, I, I'm very much in, in, in line with uh, what Eleni said about Greece and where Greece stands today and all the Greek culture and why should we be proud of being Greek. Um, some of you may you know, have been to Greece and, and, and said, well, what a disorganized country. Uh, or, you know, America is better. But if we just leave it at that level, then we haven't gone very far. Um, the Greek ideas were the ones that, for example, um, brought change in this world. Uh, it, was, it was not until this country, the United States, which became the first modern democracy that we really got a taste of what it means to live in a democratic country. Um, and it's not, I mean, it's just one little example of all the ideas that were born in Greece and, and during the, the years of the great civilization. Um, other examples, of course, include um, the Olympic Games that we're going to celebrate in Greece next year. One remarkable thing was for um, the ancient Greeks to uh, come, came from different cities. They would stop the war if they were fighting and say, now it's time to compete in, in the games. And, and they would compete, and when the games were over, they would go on with the war. <laughs> and, um, and not only that, you know, I, 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 uh, the, the winners were so um, revered. Is that correct word? Um, yep. <laughs> in English? Uh, they're so honored that they would sometimes they would break the walls to let them go in. So if, if you know the, the, car the, the carriage that would carry them, they wouldn't want you know the felt of the door was too small. They would just tear the wall down of the city to let the winner um, go into the city. And uh, so these are the ideas that today exist, and, and and we should be very very proud of them. And and in Greek school, um, hopefully we got a taste of them. But um, we'll promise you that if you come back next year, we'll get a lot more of these ideas, along with some Greek, more Greek words that will allow you one day to express these ideas. <laughs> All right. So I just want to now maybe call the students and give them the, the certificates. So look, have these are these uh, survivors? <laughs> <laughs> the ones that I didn't see the scale. <laughs> so the tough ones. So we have. Uh, Derek Duncan, who is a, a truly you know, great kid. And I want to say uh, thank you to Derek because uh, he was so busy with his school. That was his last year of school. He just graduated, right? And, okay. And he was here almost perfect attendance until up to the four last weeks. Yeah. He missed it. And also, Derek wrote a wonderful, wonderful story. Uh, and yeah. it was in, in the brochure, then, in Hickman brochure, and it was great about Greek uh, culture. Yeah. It was really so, wonderful. We need to place it somewhere here so everybody can read and be proud of yeah, it. Yeah, we thank him. Greek. And congratulations. So then we have Melissa Harden. And she's not here. She's one of the goddess. Goddess. <laughs> a lot of wife. No, yeah, the mom of the five. So we'll just keep that here. Yeah, I think it is. And then we have um, Julie, Kyle, and Zandanaki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got um, Mary, Cody Dallas. <laughs> I should have had one for her too. I'm miniature. Okay. <laughs> there was Stephanie Panados. <laughs> See, in Greece we kissed twice. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you, you already, already knew before you took it to the Greek class. I got Robin Terzopoulos.
I mean, the people who attended the original the class, some of the people were uh, Scott Carnes. He showed up once or twice. Yeah. He learned a lot. He's not terrible. But, you know, uh, then uh, David Jato? Jato. Yeah. Emily Johnson. Olga Rasgonova. She's here. for having the courage to attack Greek. <laughs> for me, it would be equally difficult to learn um, Ukrainian or Russian. Stefan Stamos, uh, Theo Stamos, and uh, Dr. West. He came to our class one time. <laughs> so, <laughs> outside because it's so beautiful so the the group picture and the class picture we're gonna classes pictures we're gonna take them outside okay but not yet last but not least this is a little something don't make me cry you probably <laughs> already started <laughs> your eyes water earlier i want to thank george so much for getting this all started for father dean coming here so we had a church to even get this started I've been waiting 13 years for this. I started off in my mother-in-law's kitchen with napkins writing, Epcaristo, thank you. Abrio, tomorrow. Nay, yes. And I came a long way. I learned a lot over the years. And this class has even made it better because I never thought I could read Greek. I always left that up to Alex when we went to Greece. And I read Greek, you know, English for him here. He read Greek for me there. Now I can read a little bit. And... All of the parents here are so grateful, and you never want Thank appreciation you. for anything you do. But this is a little bit. Of, this is from. I do because I love it. I know. I tell you, but what we got you. Don't spin it on anybody else but you. <laughs> okay. okay. We love you. Everybody who went to Greek school gonna go by the sign out front, and, if, uh, and we're gonna take a group picture outside. Okay, it's nicer outside, and then we'll come back in. You can eat. Okay. 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 Right there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Where's Debbie? <laughs> Yeah. I know. Uh, my, my need is saying, hey, I want to go with 